Saj, this is your reading for the month of Feb. We will get channeled messages from your person. This reading is for Saj, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's see what do they want to tell you, Saj. I want to have a partnership with you. I want to work things out with you. I'm seeking a new start with you and I seek stability with you. I miss you. I want to have it all with you. At this time, I'm very focused on my stability, my finances. But trust me, I miss you. And I feel you are my soulmate. I miss the old days and I want to gift you something. I want to be with you. I want to meet you. And I want to have it all with you. I spy on you. I have my eye on your social media, but I'm keeping a distance from you because I'm afraid that you are going to reject me. You feel I'm ignoring you, but trust me, I'm stalking you in secret and I want to talk to you. I also want to apologize for my behavior, but I just don't have that strength at this time because I'm afraid that you are going to reject me. I also feel sometimes that you are not interested in me anymore. I want to break this no contact situation. I feel you misunderstood me. But I think about you a lot. I feel this break was needed for us to think about the situation and to think about our relationship. I feel you are acting like a player at this time and not in a bad way, but you are enjoying your life. You are getting attention from people. Yes, I know you are beautiful. You are sexy and you know how to play with words. You are very charming. I have no doubt about that. So naturally you get attention of people, but trust me, I'm jealous. I trust you, but I don't trust the other people around you. You are... Little naive, I feel. You trust people so easily and they don't have good intentions towards you. I feel people want to sleep with you because they find you very charming. But you trust them very easily. I also feel you are very emotional. And you don't feel that someone is going to harm you. But I feel insecure. I wish I wish you to be safe always. Sometimes I feel I should just walk away from your life because you blocked me. Or I just feel blocked in this connection. This connection is blocked. We are not talking. Things are not moving forward. Other times I feel I should take a stand for this connection. I should talk to you. But then I decide to keep my feelings to myself. And not to share it with you. Somewhere I feel you do know that I still love you. I have very pure emotions for you. And this is not about lust or sex. Yes, I am very attracted towards you. I have a lot of passion for you. And I want you to choose me. I don't want other people to even look at you. I'm very jealous, but I know. You are very you are very hard to budge at this time. And this is the reason that I feel I should just walk away because you are not happy with me. But trust me, I'm very restless over you. I think about you. I'm going through those sleepless nights because I want to talk to you, but I just don't know how. You are my happiness. I want to give you clarity and I want to have clarity from you. Just say it once that I am your happiness, that you are mine. But I can't. I can't reach out to you. I can't talk to you and this is making me very restless and 
I'm very, very stressed because of this thing. I don't know what to expect from this situation. I don't know what to do in this connection now. But I still wait for you. And I see you as someone like you are like a husband or wife material to me. You are my perfect match. I'm still waiting for you. And I'm willing to invest in this connection. Yes, I'm very attracted towards you. And I want to feel you. I want to get intimate with you. But I hold back. I don't want to show my this side towards you. Because I'm afraid that you are going to reject me. And if I have to be honest here, I'm very egoistic at this time. I don't want to bend. Yes, I have the tendency to play mind games, but trust me, my love for you is real and I wanted to have a real deal with you. I always seeked stability with you. I always wanted to marry you, to be in a relationship with you, to have a family with you. But don't mind. Sometimes I felt you acted like a very unstable, inconsistent person. I wanted to rely on you. But it was very honor of connection between us, which is why I was hesitant. I was afraid. I'm trying to manifest you back in my life because I don't know what action to take towards you. If I'm going to approach you, I'm afraid that we will argue again. There will be a lot of drama between us again. I also feel you listen to your friends, you listen to other people, you believed those gossips about me and you fought with me. I know you feel you are the third party in my life. I cannot change that fact. I'm helpless because this has already done. I know I have hurt you and this is why you are acting this way. You are acting very cold towards me because I have put you in a third party situation. But just know you are the one for me. And I'm going through that sexual tension towards you. I'm very frustrated at this time. I'm obsessed with you. I want to have you but I cannot have you. And this is very frustrating. Trust me, I want to work on this connection and I keep myself busy in my work. Because I have nothing else to do. I really love you. I want to sleep with you. And if you feel that things are over between us, trust me, this is not over for me, my love. I still hold on to this connection, even though this is very painful for me to hold on to this connection. Even my mind knows that I should just walk away from this connection. I am still holding on to you. I am still holding on to this connection. Because I want you back. I feel you are perfect for me. We are meant to be together. I am going to ignore you for some more time because I'm afraid that we are going to get into arguments again. It's better to ignore this connection or put this connection on hold. And I'm very hurt to be very honest. I cannot handle more drama between us. This is very hurting. I want to fix things between us. I want to make things right with you. But I feel at this time, this is the right thing to do to just put this connection on hold because I am unable to make a decision at this time. I don't want to fight with you. So it's better if you stay at a distance from one another at this time. Because we both need balance. So that we can talk again. So that we can have that new start again. I know 
there were outside influences in our connection, there were lies. But to fix this connection, to have a new start in this connection, we have to, we have to be patient. We have to be in a balance so that we can talk with a clear mind, so that we can move things forward. But for now, we should take a break. We should try to make a final decision and to ask ourselves what exactly do we want from this connection because I don't want to fight with you anymore but yes I definitely see in the near future we will start this again we will talk again and there will be a new start and this time there will be a stability in this connection there will be a passion in this connection I will show my passion that I have for you and yes I'm holding back at this time but just know I'm going to show you one day how much I love you and you don't have to wait for this month just wait for the end of this month I'm going to reach out to you before that we both need to give ourselves some time so that we can clear our mind regarding this connection and regarding our feelings towards each other <sighs> okay sad so that's all i have for you i hope it helped thank you so much for watching bye bye and take care